Signing up for a brighter IP future as the world gets wise to the value of intellectual property. In this December 2012 ceremony, the Hong Kong Trade Development Council agreed to closer cooperation with IP organizations in the United States and Denmark, as well as IP exchanges in Beijing and Shanghai on the Chinese mainland. The deal was reached on the eve of the second Business of IP Asia Forum, which also reflected Asia's growing awareness of IP opportunities and Hong Kong's role in making them happen. The event drew more than 1,400 IP professionals and government officials from 23 countries and regions, as well as the United Nations Agency that runs an international design registry. The main driver in growth in both trademark and design registrations was mainland China. And that has led to the situation that, uh, as of today, Asia is uh, the number one uh, place of area of registration for trademarks, and so it has superseded Europe. This region is one where trade has really broken new frontiers, uh, in particular um, with respect to uh, trade in intermediate products. Global production networks that are highly integrated across the region um, are prevalent. In what, what we are seeing at the, at the, at the world trade uh, level is that um, not only are these countries that integrate into these supply chains are capturing more of, of the export share, um, but they're also using this, they're finding a way of, of capturing uh, innovation from that. With nearly 40 prominent speakers, the one-day forum covered a range of topics from trademarks and licensing to the latest trends related to copyrights on software, biotechnology, and traditional Chinese medicine. But a common theme was prompting IP awareness among small and medium-sized companies. The public sector have to assist the market a little bit in basically making the market transparent so buyers and sellers can find one another. Now that is obviously not a key problem for the big players in the market, they know where to go. But we're very keen to look on small and medium-sized companies to see how they can perform in the market. So one of the things we talked about is can we do more things regionally, can we even begin to harmonize globally. I worry a little bit is that the SME, the basic SME says, oh that's beyond me, that's just too macro for me to deal with, particularly at a policy level. Um, and that's not necessarily true. Um, I, I think uh, policymakers are very sensitive to the needs of SMEs in particular, and the, and the communication from them to the policymakers about what they need in this area is critical. Companies are also being urged to explore IP trading, a promising prospect in Asia as the economic balance and consumption shifts from west to east. I see that there's been a very, very huge transformational shift from the time I started this business in 2005 until today. It's the large corporations around the world in 2005 and 2006 really felt if it was not invented here, it was not important. Today they realize they can go out to the marketplace and we are a conduit to North America, Europe and Asia for inventions that are sitting in small to medium sized companies, larger companies unused and also individual garage type inventors. And as SMEs get wise to the need to protect as well as market their ideas using IP channels, Hong Kong is assuming a greater role in facilitating the process. I think that well, culturally speaking and making relationships, etc., etc., Hong Kong serves a, a quite important role. Uh, perhaps not only for mainland China, but for the whole Asian region. So I think the tradition in um, creating the, po the positive infrastructure, both physically but also uh, legally and conceptually for trade to flow uh, um, seamlessly, um, has, has a long tradition here. So I think uh, the efforts to become a trading place in IP, which is what part of the focus of this conference is about, um, really try to build on that tradition. I generally do not speak at events because most of our business is very, very opaque. But I see such a rise in interest in Chinese companies desiring to buy U.S. patents and European patents because they have a fear of the inability to import their products and services to the Western markets. So I'm here to open our doors and our network of buyers and sellers throughout the world to make it more cohesive. Well, Hong Kong obviously has a very traditional, historic, uh, role as, the, as, as a facilitator of trade generally. Uh, and I think this, to the extent that IP now is a key part of the trade uh, regime, I think, is gives them a super opportunity 
to participate. This conference is a good example of how they can bring the players together. 